Good evening, Pine School community, and welcome to our live stream, Evening of Academic Excellence. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Our start time was a little delayed because I understand the link that went out for this event was not right in the Wednesday Constant Contact. Please tell anyone asking you that a recent email went out to faculty, um, faculty, staff at the Pine School and also students and parents in upper school. So we will uh, hope that more people join us, but spread the word. Also rest assured that this live stream event is being recorded and will be immediately archived to our Pine School YouTube channel. So thanks again for joining us this evening. It's wonderful that we can come to you and join you in your homes to celebrate all the amazing accomplishments of our upper school students and also pay a special, special tribute to the class of 2020. This is the evening that we would have held their baccalaureate service, but instead we are combining that and we'll hear from a senior tonight who will address the class and the audience with us. So I wanna turn things over to our academic dean, Sean Carlson. He has been invaluable in coordinating this event tonight. And so without further ado, Mr. Carlson. Good evening, students, parents, faculty, and staff. And welcome to the Pine School's 2020 Evening of Academic Excellence and Class of 2020 Recognition live stream. As a disclaimer, and some of you at home may already know, this event is very much a live event, and should there be any technical glitches, as Ms. Caffrey just mentioned, please know that it will be accessible on the Pine School's YouTube channel later this weekend. Tonight, we aim to acknowledge excellence in the classroom and in student leadership. All of our students this year have had to overcome obstacles that none of us could have predicted at the beginning of our school year. In our frequent video announcements that Ms. Caffrey has sent you over the last few weeks, we have been able to highlight some of our athletes and performing arts students. Despite the challenges of the last couple of months, the 2019-2020 school year has been rich with student achievement. The young ladies and young men who grace our campus and remote learning classrooms have grown tremendously since August. Recently, new technologies have been explored, countless hours of Google Meets have taken place, and we have seen leadership displayed in many ways by our upperclassmen. Before we recognize our wonderful students, there's another accomplished group that we need to acknowledge tonight, your teachers. They have had to completely re-examine how they deliver information to you, how, they, how to encourage your active engagement, and to continue the tradition of academic accomplishment seen in so many Pine School students and alumni. My sincere gratitude goes out to them tonight, and I hope you have the opportunity before the year is out to thank each of them. Additionally, I would like to thank your parents at home with you tonight who have also had to take on a bigger role in your education during these remote learning times. None of us signed up for your education to look exactly like this, but I am so pleased by the way we have been able to work together to make sure you are able to continue to grow. While we all like to receive recognition for our hard work, the faculty and administration work diligently to define what is worthy of recognition. Often this goes beyond simply getting a good grade and encompasses students who show a great passion, in-depth inquiry, or unwavering dedication to a subject. For our seniors, savor this evening, as it is yet another opportunity for us to celebrate your achievements this year and throughout high school. For all the others, this is another step on the path through your high school journey at the Pine School. To get us started, I am pleased to introduce William Barada to introduce our senior speaker. William is a lifer at the Pine School, having started here at three years old. Over the years, he has participated in our bands and even in our musical for the last couple of years. William was recognized by the faculty as a strong leader when he was named head boy at this event last year. His contributions extend to the development of the Investment Club, meaningful in in leadership in lacrosse, and as our goalie in the historic run of our boys soccer team this past winter. William will be attending University of Virginia in the fall. Welcome, William. Thank you, Mr. Carlson, and uh, good afternoon, Pine School. I am William Barada, the Pine School's head prefect for the class of 2020, and I am honored to introduce Allison Sanchez. Allison has been a classmate of mine for four years, and we've shared many memories over these years. Over the years, it has been very neat to watch Allison grow as an individual and as an artist. She has won multiple awards, such as the Scholastic Gold Key, Silver Key, and been nominated for the Martys and Pathfinders. 
Without further ado, I give you Allison Sanchez. Thank you, Will. Family, friends, faculty, and soon-to-be graduates, I'm so honored to speak to you today as a representative of the class of 2020. We are all well aware that our situation is not ideal, so I would like to put that aside for a moment and focus on what we have and not what we don't have. Now is the perfect time to take a step back from the last 12 years and reflect and to project the next years ahead. When discussing a graduating class, people usually say, this group has so much promise for greatness, or they will do great things someday. And while yes, the class of 2020's boundless potential proves these statements to be true, I believe we already have accomplished great things and will only continue doing so. I'd like to go back to just a few years ago when we used to be that class, the class that caused some trouble and was a little dysfunctional at times. But it's very safe to say that we have grown into that class. That class who gets things done, that class that leads the school, and that class of resilient students who will rise to any occasion and above any obstacle. And let's be honest, in the future, when we tell people that we graduated in 2020, they're going to say, wow, you're from that class. And they will know how strong, dedicated, and perseverant we are. We are that class. I want to make sure that in retrospect, every senior has a memory that makes him or her smile. So here are a few that make me smile. Watching the boys dance every year at the homecoming pep rally, volleyball season, being involved with Mr. Carlson's productions, doing good night moon every night on the outward bound trip, Mr. Hilton Green falling out of the white water raft in North Carolina, and this moment right now. In just a few short hours, we will be high school graduates and alumni of the Pine School. As we stand here precariously on the edge of our future, ready to jump, we need to take the time to appreciate all of our hard work and recognize the outstanding education we have received. All of these experiences and lessons will serve as the diving board, ready to spring us up and forward. All we have to do is jump. On behalf of the class of 2020, I'd like to thank everyone who has helped us reach our goals, but specifically our teachers, coaches, administrators, the Pine School Board of Trustees, Joe, and of course, our families who support and love us unconditionally. The class of 2020 truly is an extraordinary bunch. We are artists, scholars, musicians, athletes, and so much more. But most importantly, we're a family. I'm so proud of what we have accomplished together. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you both so much for your words this evening and for being here with us. I have known both of you for so many years and I am proud of the young people you have become. I wish you both all the luck in the future and don't forget to come back and visit us. Now we're going to move on to some of our recognitions for our seniors. The first is the Pathfinders Award. The Pathfinder High School Scholarship Awards are presented each year to high school seniors in Palm Beach and Martin counties who have demonstrated outstanding achievements in specific academic, art, athletic, and community categories. This year we had five students participate in the application and interview process. Congratulations to Lindsay Levin for her nomination in sports, for Maria Diagidio for her nomination in agriculture, for Alia French for her nomination in music and instrumental performance, for Hallie Isdainer for her community involvement, and for Allison Sanchez for her contributions to the arts. We also want to recognize our AP scholars. AP exams have just wrapped up, but the College Board's program has specific scholar recognitions for students who have successfully earned passing scores on multiple AP exams. We would like to take a moment to recognize the following scholars for these achievements. These students have earned these awards based on all AP exams taken prior to this year. Those scores don't come out until July. AP Scholar is granted to a student who receives a three or higher on three or more AP exams. 
The following seniors have earned that recognition. Valeria Beatty, Hallie Isdainer, Jet Jones, Brian Rogers, Allison Sanchez, Addison Texter. AP Scholars with Honor is granted to students who receive an average of 3.25 on all AP exams taken. The following seniors have earned that recognition. Maria Diagidio, Zachary Ehrlich, Maddie McDonald, and Chloe Munson. AP Scholars with Distinction is granted to students who receive an average score of 3.5 on all AP exams taken. The following seniors have earned this recognition. Alia French and Lucas Pereira. I now welcome Mr. Kelly Hilton Green to continue our recognition of our senior class. Thank you, Mr. Carlson. Good evening, everybody. Throughout the month of May, the number of faculty and administrators have had the pleasure of listening to the seniors give their end of year project presentations for their senior capstones. As usual, we had an outstanding variety of projects that the seniors were involved in this year, and many of them had to make quick changes at the last minute in light of our current situation. I'm happy to say that all our seniors who have completed these projects passed. In addition, the following received honors recognition for their project. Kate Adelette, volunteering at the Lighthouse School of the Art. Maria de Agidio, Observation Beehive. Alia French, Virtual College Pep Rally. Liam Groth, The Dolphin Ecology Project. Lindsay Levin, Branching Out. Annalise Lichten, Aiding Dementia. Jada Yarena, Clean Water and Sanitation Project. Madeline MacDonald, The Pine School is My Home. Lucas Pereira, Digitizing the Pine School Cross Country Course. Ryan Renz, how the COVID pandemic affected professional sport financially. Alison Sanchez, Saving the Seagrass, and Addison Texter for the morning show. I will now turn it back over to Mr. Carlson. We will now recognize the honor roll for our senior students. As the seniors have already completed their academic year, we can recognize our honor roll recipients tonight. For the remaining students in our upper school, they still have to complete the semester next week. Therefore, honor roll recipients in other grade levels will be recognized early in the fall semester. First, here are the names of the faculty honor roll recipients for seniors who have no individual class below a 3.5. Jada Urena, Chloe Munson, Lucas Pereira, and Ryan Renz. The head of school honor roll recognizes students who have no individual class below a 4.0. William Barada, Maria Diagidio, Zachary Ehrlich, Alia French, Hallie Isdainer, Lindsay Levin, Sophie Rabi, Brian Rogers, and Addison Texter. At this time, we will present our department-specific awards. In addition to an award for each grade, there will be one overall award voted on by the teachers in each department to recognize a student who has truly gone above and beyond in that subject. To begin, we will watch this video submission from our head of the English department, Mr. Greg Squire. Hi everyone, good evening. It is my pleasure to give out this year's English departmental awards. To begin with, ninth grade, Mr. Bishop says of his award recipient that she is thoughtful and fearless in her scholarship. The freshman English award goes to Marin Rubenstein. The sophomore award goes to a creative, strong thinker who brings a lyrical art to all of her writing. The 10th grade English award goes to Madeline Restino. And it's my pleasure to have seen the enormous intellectual blossoming of this junior award recipient. He has a love of story and adventure that is reflected in his writing and reading. The Junior Award goes to Liam Fitz. And the Senior Award goes to the wonderfully brave and creative Chloe Munson. I will miss her humor and surgical insight, but it will be fun to see what adventures she goes on to next. And finally, the Pat Stewart Award 
to that student who best models extraordinary passion for reading and writing as determined by the English faculty, this student is a devotee of words, stories, and the challenges of communication. This award goes to a person who is as courageous intellectually as he is kind socially. A deep and creative thinker, this senior represents the love of stories of the award's namesake, Pine School Hall of Famer, Pat Stewart. And the award goes to Addison Texter. Thank you, Mr. Squire. I would now like to introduce Mr. Nat Osborne, the head of our history department. Good evening. Pine School students who study history spend their days squinting at yellow documents to compile them to build an intellectually responsible account of what happened in the past. And with that in mind, we'd like to recognize a few particular scholars. The ninth grade history department award goes to a student who demonstrates an impressive work ethic and passion for learning. She consistently makes a conscientious effort in the challenges of an honors levels course. She's intellectually curious and always wants to dig deeper and learn more. Equally impressive is her positive attitude and her willingness to help others. I'm delighted to say that this year's ninth grade history award winner is Brennan Troop. In 10th grade, we recognize a student whose love and passion for all things historical was frequently clear. Whether it was his writing or his contributions to class discussions, his ability to connect across the time period and region is remarkable and vital in a world history classroom. The 10th grade history award winner is Charles Thompson. 11th grade, our 11th grade history department winner is Miss Sarah Valcani. Sarah distinguished herself from a group of extremely talented peers by her interests in how historical processes relate to justice in the United States. Her carefully articulated responses and biting commentary point to an extremely successful career as she transitions to her senior year at the Pine School and beyond. We are very proud of you, Sarah. In 12th grade, we are recognizing a young woman who exemplifies everything a knight should be. She excels in her history classes, not only because she's bright and capable, but also because she values the quest for knowledge. Her positive attitude and dedication to excellence inspires those around her to do the same. She's destined for success in college and beyond with her foundation of personal integrity, hard work, and unwavering determination, which I saw frequently as I was the mentor of the environmental prefect, a position she held this year. We'd like to recognize Maria Diagidio for her contributions, especially this year. The highest award that the History Department offers is the Hugh Willoughby Award. This award is named after a local Renaissance man, reserved for the senior student who has exhibited a thirst for historical knowledge and social science uh, pursuits throughout his or her years at the Pine School. In addition to strong academic performance, this student has embodied the ideals of the History Department, including demonstrating an inquisitive mind challenging historical perspectives, and completing detailed research. If nothing else, historical inquiry is a mindset, a system of questioning documents. Our Willoughby Award winner is William Barada, who is here in the room with me tonight. Six feet, William. Six feet. Okay. <laughs> William is a bright young man with a positive future. In addition to an inquisitive mind and a determination to excel, he developed a passion and an intuitive awareness of the past four years of all things, especially economics. He's a conscientious student with a natural affinity for our study of economics and effective application of economic theory to real life problems. Uh, his teacher, Ms. Mormon, would like to report his delightful sense of humor added much to our classes, as did his extensive knowledge of nuanced investment strategies. When the class wanted to know a detail or an investment tip, it was to William that they turned. 
William's achievement and passion for learning continue to serve him well, and we expect big things from him in the future. Uh, it's my pleasure now to welcome uh, Math Chair Tamara Litterick to the microphone. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Osborne, and good evening, Pine School families. I would like to begin with the ninth grade math award. The ninth grade award goes to a student intrinsically motivated mathematically. He consistently looks ahead for new knowledge to add to the ex existing tools he has already acquired. Always eager to answer the question, he is equally, equally willing to help his peers. His inquisitive nature has afforded he and his peers an opportunity to dive deeper into problems, finding different ways to show their work. The ninth grade math award goes to Sam Abraham. The 10th grade math award goes to a student who is also intrinsically motivated to figure out new and challenging methods. She combines a keen mathematical mind, exceptional algebra skills, and an admirable work ethic to create a foundation of success. This student picks up on efficient solutions that leads to deeper level of understanding. She and her peers benefit from her ability to distill a point of confusion down to a concise point of inquiry. This student quickly assimilates the new knowledge into her existing knowledge and looks at each new problem like a puzzle for her to figure out. She has developed a passion for mathematics. This award goes to Hannah Squire. For the 11th grade award, both in and out of the classroom, this student is always willing and eager to help his peers when they face a mathematical challenge. In small group and whole class discussions, this student often takes the lead asking thought-provoking questions and making deep connections. He exemplifies all characteristics of a gifted math student, taking on new mathematical challenges with ease and confidence. This award goes to Trent Long. Taking two very challenging AP math courses her senior year, this student is described by her teachers as one who is, has an inquisitive mind and never hesitates to ask clarifying questions. She always comes to class prepared, has all of the work done on time, and usually exceeds the expectations placed upon her. Her attention to detail, particularly helpful in the advanced classes in mathematics and science, certainly contribute to her overall success. She is uniquely personable, considerate, and sensitive to the needs of others, and therefore more, deserving, more than deserving of this recognition. This award goes to Ali French. The math department would like to also present the Euler's Award of Achievement. Born in the 1970s, Leonard Euler is credited for the many, with many notations, proofs, and theorems that we still use today in mathematics, many of which were derived in the last two years of his life when he was completely blind. The Euler's Award of Achievement recognizes a student who never gave up, persevered, and ultimately became a successful math student. This year, the award goes to a student who worked hard every day in class, always willing to help others with their difficulties and never gave up, <clears throat> even with challenging topics. This award goes to Annalise Slickton. Thank you, and I would like to now introduce Dr. Carolyn Bogowski, our incoming science chair. Thank you, Ms. Litterick. Good evening. The ninth grade science award recipient has brought her innate curiosity to biology class every day. On her own time, she has attended climate change events and has encouraged her peers to be involved with environmental education initiatives, sharing her passion for using science to support change. This year's ninth grade science recipient is Fiona Ankrum. Congratulations. This year's 10th grade science award recipient has distinguished herself by not just being a dutiful and bright student, but by always asking great questions. Science is about asking and answering questions, and this student consistently showed next level thinking by continuously questioning and wanting to know more. This year's 10th grade science award recipient is Kat Villano. Congratulations. This year's 11th grade science award recipient has been described by his science teachers as an example for a student who is intrinsically motivated and highly committed to his academic success, especially in the areas of math and science. 
He always comes to class prepared, has all the work done on time, and is usually exceeds the expectations placed upon him. This year's 11th grade science award recipient is Sam Levine. Congratulations. When asked about this year's 12th grade science award recipient, his science teacher described him as a student whose academic success is fueled not just by a desire to get the best grades and achieve the highest GPA possible, but by a true motivation to combine his learning with the interests and goals for his future. This is an exceptional student who is supportive and works well with others. It was always interesting to watch him instill some of his own perseverance, problem solving, and questioning skills into the group. This year's 12th grade science award recipient is Brian Rogers. Congratulations. The science department would also like to uh, announce the Jonas Salk Award. Dr. Jonas Salk was a brilliant clinical physician who stood out from his peers, not just because of his academic prowess, but because of his desire to enter medical research instead of becoming a practicing physician. This award bearing his name recognizes the students selected not only for their academic prowess in the sciences undertaken, but also for continuing demonstrated persistence. Hard questions would be repeatedly posed in order to have a deeper understanding of the material under consideration. Knowledge and understand, understanding is this student's objective. Over the course of his high school science career, this student has always taken the most challenging and demanding course load, including AP Physics as a junior and AP Chemistry now in his senior year. And he did so with so much success. Beyond that, showing his interest in all things STEM, this student was an integral part of the Pine School's Lemelson MIT Invent Team and even as a freshman team member, contributed actively and traveled with the team to present at MIT's prestigious Eureka Fest. The Jones Salk Award winner is Lucas Pereira. Congratulations. And now I would like to introduce Ms. Kelly Kelly, World Languages Department Chair. Thank you so much and good evening. This year's ninth grade Spanish award goes to a young lady whose contagious enthusiasm brought so much joy to my classroom each day. Her love for learning was evident every step of the way. She tackled tough assignments with curiosity and openness. She celebrated her successes humbly and graciously, always seeking deeper understanding as her primary goal. Her peers celebrated her meticulous notes and relied on any and all of her updates of the goings on in class. This year's ninth grade Spanish award goes to Olivia Higley. 10th grade. This year's 10th grade recipient is a young man who puts his best foot forward no matter the task. I always look forward to grading his work as he consistently managed to weave in a layer of wit or knock my socks off because of the thoughtfulness and effort he put into it. This young man is a true scholar. He enjoys the learning process and is always hungry for more. This year's 10th grade Spanish award goes to Michael Diagidio. 11th grade, in the words of her teacher, Senora Stevens. This student is always at the top of the class in Spanish for honors. Her effort is only outmatched by her intellect and she finds creative ways to leave her mark on all of her assignments. She is a student that I look to as a class leader who always chooses to do the right thing and who is willing to take academic risks to better her understanding. This year's 11th grade Spanish award goes to Savannah Stranigan. 12th grade. This award goes to the student with the highest fourth quarter average in AP Spanish language and culture against all the influences of senioritis. His teacher explains, this student is the epitome of polite and respectful, who always came to class with a smile and a friendly greeting. This student was always willing to share personal thoughts or experiences to give the class a deeper cultural understanding of Costa Rica. This year's 12th grade Spanish award goes to Fabricio Solano Gonzalez. Tico. The Spanish department named award for Jose Marti. Referred to as the apostle of Cuban independence, 
Jose Marti became the symbol for Cuba's independence against Spain in the 19th century. He is a national hero and important figure in Latin American literature. The concepts of freedom, liberty, and democracy are the prominent themes of all of his work and life. Jose Marti was a poet, essayist, revolutionary, philosopher, journalist, translator, professor, and publisher. From his Versos Sencillos, the song Guantanamera was adapted as the definitive patriotic song of Cuba. This year's Jose Marti Award recipient maintained strong ideals about honor, hard work, and respect, and fiercely supports the value of a good education. She speaks confidently in both Spanish and English and served as the president of the Spanish National Honor Society. This student also maintained the highest yearly average in AP Spanish language and culture. This year's Jose Marti Award goes to Valeria Baby. Now on to French, more of me. This young man for ninth grade, this young man consistently displays a keen interest in improving his language skills. He is focused, curious-minded, and always eager to help others. But what strikes his teacher most is how he carefully listens to feedback when he receives his work, and he reflects on it, and he has a genuine desire to push his learning to a higher level. The ninth grade French award goes to Dylan Markulix. Tenth grade. This student displays an unquenchable thirst for learning. She quickly assimilates every new idea she is exposed to and expands its application at a fascinating speed. Whether she communicates orally or in writing, you can see the wheels of her thoughts in action. Her language skills are of high standard, whether she expresses herself in her native English or in French. She loves to share with others and she remains modest about her achievements. The 10th grade French award goes to Hannah Squire. 11th grade. Since she joined the Pine School in ninth grade, this student has shown her dedication, hard work, and interest in French at every lesson. Her maturity shows not only in her academic work, but also in her ability to open up to her peers, to guide them, and offer advice about life in and out of the classroom. She is conscientious and displays pride at producing a work of high standard. The 11th grade French award goes to Peyton Wade. And finally, the French named award for Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. Hopefully I said that right. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry was a French writer, poet, philosopher, and aviator who distinguished himself as one of the pioneer pirates pilots of the Aeropostale, the first ever air mail service. saint Esuperi's flying experience and reflection inspired him to write several world acclaimed books, among which was The Little Prince, a philosophical tale which has been translated into more than 300 languages. saint Esuperi combined the talent of a great writer with courage, resilience, and a sense of adventure, which are still a reference and inspiration for today's youth. When saint Exupéry's plane broke down in the Sahara Desert, where he found himself stranded, he sat down in the sand and reflected on his situation and what he needed to do to find solutions. This student shows the same resourcefulness and self-reliance. She sits quietly in class, listens intently, reflects and absorbs what is being discussed, then synthesizes the content and eagerly shares the ideas. Her mind is methodical, organized, and curious. The Saint Exupéry Award recipient is Acklin Howell. Thank you. And I now would like to uh, invite Mr. Steve Nauman to the podium. Good evening. Uh, first up, we have the Instrumental and Performing Arts Awards. Uh, the following students have performed above all expectations. They're involved in multiple performance groups and have re represented the Pine School well throughout the year. Congratulations to all our Instrumental and Performing Arts Awards uh, recipients. In ninth grade, the Instrumental and Performing Arts Award winner is Bella Tensillo. In 10th grade, Hannah Squire. And in 11th grade, 
The Instrumental and Performing Arts Award recipient is Angela Charles. Next we have the Louis B. Armstrong Jazz Award, which honors the outstanding jazz musician at the high school level. Only one Louis Armstrong Jazz Award may be awarded every year. This student has a love of jazz as evident to everyone around him. His talent and dedication to the band have led him to take up playing multiple instruments. Congratulations to the Louis B. Armstrong Jazz Award recipient, Lucas Pereira. Next, we have the Ernie and Helen Berlin Performing Arts Award. This is the highest award given to a graduating senior who has consistently demonstrated high achievement in the performing arts throughout his or her career as a Pine School student. This student has shown great commitment to the band over the years. His team player attitude and work ethic gave the band a much needed boost this year. He has been a part of every performing group at the school and graciously starred in the, music the musical this year as well. The Ernie and Helen Berlin Award for Excellence in the Performing Arts goes to Addison Texter. Congratulations. Now on to the Visual Arts Awards. Uh, first up in ninth grade, we have this student's passion is truly arts. It's evident in everything she does, and everything she creates has her own distinct style. This year, we've watched her grow as an artist, taking direction and turning those tips and tricks into beautiful works of art. Her enthusiasm and smile are also quite contagious. This year's Freshman Art Award goes to Fiona Ankrum. Next we have the 10th grade Visual Arts Award. This student is one of the most talented and creative, talented, creative, and passionate photographers we've ever had the pleasure to teach. He has accomplished well beyond his years because he has let his passion for photography guide his work ethic. This uh, definitely showed with the silver and gold key uh, uh, scholastic awards he received this year. We look forward to seeing what he can do next year in AP Photo. This year's sophomore visual art award goes to John Sexton. The 11th grade visual art award. There isn't anything this junior touches that doesn't have a creative edge. This along with her kind, helpful, responsible attributes make her the absolute best possible type of student. This year, she led the way in National Art Honor Society, AP Studio Art, and even though it wasn't her class, she managed the time to make contributions to Recycled Runway. It is our distinct pleasure to give this award to Caroline Rouse. The 12th grade Visual Art Award. This student has been a constant creator. Between Studio Art, Graphic Design, AP, and beyond, this student has continually and diligently explored different media in which to express their unique and ever-evolving style. This student is such a constant and productive presence in the visual arts that we've taken for granted that they've actually received the recognition that is so well deserved. Only recently did we realize that this student has never actually been awarded the coveted Artist of the Month Award, only because we were all convinced that we had already awarded it to her, uh, being such an obvious choice for all these years. So with that said, as we award this student the 12th grade Visual Art Award, we are also awarding her an Honorary Artist of the Month's Award. Uh, thank you so much for being such an amazing creator and an advocate for our small but mighty fine arts department. Congratulations, Kate Idlet. Uh, next we have, just got a couple more art awards here. Uh -uh. Next we have the Digital Art Award. Uh, this student has demonstrated a creative and inquisitive spirit in the face of learning an entirely new method of creation. This student has consistently gone above and beyond expectations, has taken to the process, and explored the design software beyond what is required. Congratulations to this year's Digital Art Award winner, Brett Sarsha. And lastly, the Publication Award. This student has come in clutch on numerous occasions. Serving as the only returning member of the yearbook staff, this student has been an indispensable resource for the rest of the staff. Finishing the yearbook remotely this year has been a distinct challenge uh, that would have been a lot harder if this student had not been ahead of the curve by having her assigned pages done in advance of deadlines. Thank you for everything and congratulations, Maddie McDonald. I would now like to welcome back Mr. Kelly Hilton Green. The Prefect system is the pinnacle of our student leadership program here at the Pine School as we mold our knights into the leaders of tomorrow. 
The prefects serve our school community by contributing in every aspect of student life. Admissions, athletics, the arts, campus tours, communications, publicity, service, environmental life, and the overall quality of the student experience that makes the Pine School unique. Prefects are student leaders who are chosen based on their high character, exceptional integrity, and commitment to the mission and the core values of the Pine School. At this time, I would like to recognize this year's outgoing head prefects and thank them for their service to the Pine School. Head boy, William Barada. Head girl, Alia French. Ambassador prefect, Sophie Rabi. Outreach prefect, Maddie McDonald. Student life prefect, Addie Taxter. Environmental prefect, Maria Diagidio. Communications prefect, Brian Rogers. Unite prefect, Hallie Isdana. Athletic Leadership Prefect, Lindsay Levin, and Fine Arts Prefect, Alison Sanchez. Thank you for all your service and dedication throughout this school year. Now on to next year. After an application process that, and a review of a, by a selection committee made up of faculty and administrators chosen by the students, it is my pleasure to announce the Pine School Deputy Prefects for the 2020-2021 school year from the rising 11th grade class. Ambassador Deputy Prefect, Hannah Squire. Outreach Deputy Prefect, Kendall Eaker. Student Life Deputy Prefect, Andy Smith. Environmental Deputy Prefect, Keely Maeder. Communications Deputy Prefect, Selena Budd. Unite Deputy Prefect, Kat Villano. Athletic Leadership Deputy Prefect, Michael Diagidio and Fine Arts Deputy Prefect, John Sexton. For the 2020-2021 school year, your head prefects are as follows. Ambassador Prefect, Jack Squire. Outreach Prefect, Gracie Hampton. Student Life Prefect, Matilda Small. Environmental Prefect, Rachel Goldman. Communications Prefect, Angela Charles. Unite Prefect, Sydney Stranigan, Athletic Leadership Prefect, Michael Powers, Fine Arts Prefect, Nell Hutchinson, and leading this group are the following, our head boy, Sam Levine, and our head girl, Savannah Stranigan. Congratulations to all our Prefect leaders for the 2020-2021 school year. I look forward to working with you over the summer as we prepare for an exciting year ahead. Start brainstorming your ideas now. Community Achievement Awards. The Community Achievement Award is given to students in the upper school who embrace all parts of the program, especially in supporting his or her fellow classmates throughout the year. The recipients of these awards are characteristically an inspiration to both students and faculty, are highly self-motivated, and self-directed in both inspiring and maintaining a sense of community in the upper school. They are students who have had a positive attitude while at school, are involved in multiple extracurricular activities, and they have played a role in building a strong sense of pride in our school and within their grade. The recipients are as follows. Ninth grade, Olivia Higley. Tenth grade, Selena Budd. Eleventh grade, Faith Hill and 12th grade, Hallie Isdana. I now welcome Mr. Carlson back to the podium. <clears throat> the Academic Achievement Award is given to the student who took their study in the upper school this year, well beyond the aspect of a GPA. This award signifies a student who has a genuine love of learning, one who demonstrates a passion for all subjects and very characteristically takes their inquiry to the next level. In including a seriousness of purpose, adding contributions to each class, and demonstrated sophistication of thinking, always able and willing to move beyond the concrete into the abstract. The ninth grade academic achievement award goes to Sam Abraham. The tenth grade academic achievement award goes to Hannah Squire. The eleventh grade academic achievement award goes to Trent Long. And the 12th grade Academic Achievement Award goes to Brian Rogers. We'd now like to, in, to invite Mrs. Caffrey back to the podium.
Thank you so much, Mr. Carlson, and thank you, department chairs who are able to join us this evening. I hope everyone at home is enjoying this live stream event. It's a little different, but I think I'm kind of into it. All right, lifer recognition. It is my distinct pleasure to recognize a group of students whom we have known and watched grow and mature for their entire academic career here at the Pine School. Natalie Afshar, William Barada, Maria Diagidio, Ethan Heitner, Chloe Munson, and Addison Texter. I am delighted to honor this group with longevity recognition, affectionately known as the Lafer Award. This small but mighty bunch has stood the test of time at the Pine School. Just by virtue of consistency, each has made an incredibly positive impact on our school community. With my arrival, you greeted your fourth head of school, and win or lose, you've celebrated a dozen field days or more. You've seen teachers and friends come and go, but have been unwavering in your commitment to the Pine School. Now, as you are graduating, we will celebrate and smile as we can proudly claim your school education as all ours. Thank you for being with us. Congratulations to these seniors who have been knights continuously since EL pre-K or kindergarten. They will be wearing white cords at graduation. We are proud of each of you and wish you all the best for your education as it continues. I think your parents and I are hoping you don't spend quite as much time at your next school. Thanks so much. And now we're going to end our evening with our, um, our senior awards. So Mr. Hilton Green for our next award. Our Service and Spirit Award created in 2010. The Service and Spirit Award honors a graduating senior who exemplifies night pride as well as the spirit of volunteerism. The winner should be committed to the Pine School, willing to give time on behalf of the institution and serve as a positive role model for others. This year's recipient inserted herself into life at the Pine School from day one. She has been involved in every aspect of school life, from helping out the admissions office to organizing her class at homecoming. She is looked up to by her classmates, whether it is representing them as a prefect or on the high ropes course in North Carolina. She is relied on by her teammates in volleyball, soccer, and lacrosse. She communicates well with faculty and administration and says yes to serving her school in anything we have asked. She is part of the National Honor Society and National Spanish Honor Society, to name but a few. She also interned with us last summer as we worked on improving our alumni contacts. On behalf of a grateful institution, I'm proud to present this year's Service Spirit Award to Lindsay Levin. Mrs. Caffrey. Congratulations, Lindsay. The Head of School Award is given, to, <clears throat> is given by the Pine School's faculty to a senior who is an outstanding role model in academics, spirit, arts, and athletics, who positively influences both faculty and students in a consistent way. Please join me in congratulating the Head of School Award recipient for 2020, Addison Texter. Addison has been a student leader throughout his many, many years at the Pine School. It's been our sincere pleasure to watch him grow and mature in this community. Always with a slightly mischievous, fun-loving spark in his eye, Addison elevates those around him. And he's always around. He's on the soccer field and on the cross-country course. He's producing the morning show. He's in the pool on the swim team and on the stage is Ren McCormick. He's playing the drums and sometimes the tuba. He's, <laughs> he's leading the gold team on field day and putting his heart into every homecoming. I don't think I'll ever forget Addison's cowgirl outfit and dance lift from junior year. No wonder he's this year's student life prefect. We've also been fortunate to see Addison come into his own academically at the Pine School. He is incredibly thoughtful, writes beautifully, and raises the intellectual bar among his peers. So from me and the Pine School faculty, thank you, Addie, for the lasting mark you have made on our school. We are so proud to name you our 2020 Head of School Award recipient. Congratulations. And now for our final award of the evening, the Potsdam Award. This is the highest award given 
at the Pine School. The faculty and I honor a student tonight who has shown exemplary academic, community, artistic, and athletic leadership throughout her time at Pine. From countless honor rolls and academic distinctions to steel pan concerts, from games on the court to races in the pool, we could not be more proud of this humble, gracious student and the way she leads by example. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the 2020 Potsdam Award, Alia French. It's tempting to fill this tribute with Alia's resume and unending accomplishments. What I offer instead in this year's honoree, I see a true blurring and blending of all the ways Alia has positively impacted our school. Alia is earning this word, this award, not for the enormity of what she's done, but for how she's done it. It's not the grade she's earned, but it's the way she elevates academics on this campus. In Alia, there is a genuine love of learning no one can deny. Her teachers have reveled in it. She is a sheer joy to teach. She has been an academic role model to her classmates with her inquisitive nature and ready willingness to help her peers. It's not the teams and activities she's joined. It's the way she welcomes others in with her. Alia is always one to rally classmates around her. She's magnetic and constantly kind with her great accent and wonderful Britishisms, like the H's in math, right, Alia? She's also dedicated and loyal. By way of illustration, Alia revitalized our swim team when it waned to a handful of swimmers. She cajoled her mom to coaching, and she also recruited this year a full roster that went to the regional swim meet in November. Alia brings people together. She's ready to put on a silly costume and have fun and invest herself fully in whatever she commits to. Luckily for us, that's been the Pine School. Alia, for all your global wanderings, we are so, so glad you took the time to make the Pine School your home away from home. You might have been our head girl this year, but we send you off as a young woman of keen intellect with infinite promise and potential. Thank you for making the Pine School a better place while you are here. Congratulations again to our 2020 Potsdam Award winner, Alia French. And that, audience who are here with me virtually, brings us to the conclusion of our evening of academic excellence. Thank you to everyone who has joined us from home, and a special thanks to our teachers, students, and staff who have helped make this night possible. I would especially like to thank Jorge Salas, He's sitting here right, right now, and he set up our live stream for this evening. It is spectacular to take time, like we do on this occasion, to celebrate our students who have achieved so much and recognize our graduating seniors. I'm certainly glad that time and space did not keep us from doing this. Students, as we close out this evening, please know how very proud we, the adults in your lives, are of each and every one of you. You all have unique gifts that come together to make our school community the exceptional place that it is. And even from afar, I feel that still. Seniors, I look forward to seeing you and your families tomorrow for Diploma Day. Please come dressed in your caps and gowns. I hope you've had time to decorate them and be ready for a picture. If you received an award tonight or have one from the athletic banquet, you will be able to pick that up with you uh, tomorrow as well as get any other items from campus that you need to. Grades 9, 10, and 11, as you wrap up your final classes next week, remember to finish strong. Read the nightly news on Sunday evening for a reminder about the details to come to campus on May 28th and 29th for a final drop-off and pickup. If you or your friends or family missed any part of this event, please know that it will be uploaded shortly to the Pine School's web, uh, YouTube page. I wish you all a wonderful, safe, and healthy Memorial Day weekend. Thank you again, students, for all you've accomplished this year, and go Knights. Have a good evening.